Hi guys, Mr. Ruff Waffles here. I've been waiting for this moment for several years. I've wanted there to be a Zombies comic for so long now, since the comic book loading screens, I've just thought it would be the best thing in the world, and it's finally happened. And so today, we're going to be reading through the official comic of Call of Duty Zombies, a story by Jason Blundell and Craig Houston, with illustrations and front covers and all that good stuff by Justin Jordan, Jonathan Wayshack, Dan Jackson, and Simon Bisley. I'm so excited. Let's do this. Page one. As the scourge of the undead spread across every corner of existence, many worlds, many souls, were lost, broken, or forgotten. Interesting. Many, but not all. Sometimes, I think about the pain that I have caused, the suffering I inflicted on those around me, in pursuit of my own selfish agendas. This sounds like Richtofen. It really makes me quite nostalgic. Ah, Russman. So many secrets. So many layers, like an onion. <laughs> He's an ogre. <laughs> Confirmed. Dear old Stoolinger, blessed with the gift of my voice, yep, it's Richterfen, inside his head. Malton, the engineer, know-it-all, nerd, solid, and Misty, the girl who will ensure this endeavor is a resounding success. My name is Edward Richterfen. And I've been trying so very hard to do the right thing. Oh yeah, I'm so happy with how this is going so far. And we've only got through page one. Page one. All right, let's get into the meat and potatoes of this comic, shall we? 274. Come on, you have to be a little impressed. Does maintaining proper radio silence mean anything to you? You know, if you got 274 headshots in a row, I'd be impressed. Misty... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Radio silence. Nothing. Useless maggot farm. Oh, actives. The area was clear of any reanimate activity. Yeah, well, now it isn't. This is going to send my record straight to hell. Oh, there's a light. And there's some gunfire. Boom, 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 boom. Not that I don't appreciate the light show, but more help would be great. Now, to be honest, that looks a little bit like the Maxis drone, but... Let's just sort of slide past that right now. I fully understand the severity of the situation, and I'm endeavouring to optimise conditions. The route is open. So it's not actually the Maxis drone, it's just Malton with a controller. Sadly. For now. Give it time. <laughs> so there's the moon. Okay, so that sucked. You know what would be great? Drones with guns. The aerodynamic considerations in modifying commercial drones we've scavenged are not inconsiderable, and we, you know... I think I'd prefer the Chowhounds outside to the rest of this conversation. They were coming out of sewers and... Hold on, what's that? Movement patterns are anomalous for reanimate activity. I'll repurpose one of the audiovisuals to... Shit. Well, heck. Ain't he a sight for sore eyes? Russman doesn't need this crap. <laughs> Russman does need some damn grub, though. <laughs> Still got it. Russman doesn't remember coming this way. Of course, Russman's memory isn't what it used to be. Maybe. Can't remember. Any rotting creeps want to eat an old man? Yeah? Well, you ain't gonna get any of that sneaky sneak bullcrap past me. Okay, sweet taste. Doritos, beans. It's a four-course dinner for Russman tonight. Oh, <laughs> maybe not. Well, dinner for someone anyway. I got him, okay? Stu? Yeah, yeah, Stoolinger to the rescue, again. Just follow me. You're probably going to want to not step on that, by the way. Yes, I know that it's dangerous. Russman is getting too old for this. You were too old for this 30 years ago. Are you okay? I ain't, but I'm not any more hurt than usual. Yes, I am well aware that the noise is going to draw more of the meat munchers, but you were not offering any better suggestions. You still talking to that friend in your head, huh? No, I just like to have animated conversations with no one. Uh, no other exits this way. Russman's hips don't care much for climbing. <laughs> well, good news, because we definitely won't be climbing down. Yeah, we also ain't going up. <makes noise> Son of a bitch! Ugh. Oh god, now I'm hungry again. Wonderful. Now would be a great time for some sort of plan, voice in my head. Boom! Russman suggests less talking and more zombie killing. 
Did you have that the whole time? Fell on it in the dumpster. It's amazing what's just lying around. Right, right. Yeah, amazing. We need to get where we're not drawing them to us. Bang, 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 bang. Almost. There. Rossman would have preferred to die with a beautiful woman. Not right. Not right. We're not supposed to die here. I think the chompers disagree. Keep shooting. Gunner, but there's a lot more of them than there are bullets. See? I did what you told me to do. This wasn't the deal. We had a deal. Rossman hopes you choke on it, rot breath. Something will happen. This isn't how I die. I don't die. I always come back. Rossman's taking you with him. Boom, boom. Looks like you boys could use a hand. I'm going to attempt to navigate the reanimates to an alternate location by use of the drone. Ha <laughs> I told you. I told you. We ain't out of this yet, Stu. This strategy is successful, but I do not believe we have a temporal surplus. You heard the man. Run. Egress would be advised. Come on, I got one more to hit 300. And I think I found my candidate. Rossman can't keep this up much longer. Well, I'm not carrying you. This is not an efficient use of our resources. You know, Malton, you have to have a little more joy in your work. Spock! What the fuck? Impossible. You hear that? I hear all kind of things. Run. Thanks for the hand, Darlington. I prefer another sobriquet. I would prefer to understand a damn thing you say. It's lucky you ended up right outside our bunker. Yeah, lucky. You think this was something other than chance? This was the plan. I told you there was a plan. If this was a plan, it was a bad one. I didn't say it was a good plan. I need to get the countermeasures activated. The reanimates are displaying a pattern of unusual behavior. If that means the meat sacks seem to have gotten a whole lot smarter, then Russman agrees. That zombie dodged my shot. Dodged. Zombies don't dodge. My friend says this is the next evolution. Has your friend told you what's coming next? We're needed. There's a cipher. Oh, baby. It didn't take long, did it? Right there in plain sight. Oh, baby, a cipher. So exciting, we'll have to get to that afterwards. The unusual number of reanimates acting in a coordinated fashion are overwhelming our defense perimeter. What is he? In charge. Oh yeah, so he is. This is not where we're supposed to be. We have a destiny. We don't have to live this way. Bzz. <laughs> we're not going to live all that much longer if they breach those doors. All we need to do is collect some items for my friend, and we can leave all this, but it has to be all of us. You need to trust me. Yeah, no. Rossman doesn't feel like trusting you would be a great idea. I'm inclined to agree with the others here. Ooh, look at that zombie hot damn! Way shack, loving it, loving it! Let's talk more rock. Pew 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 pew. I told you we can't stay here. That's not fair. I need to reload. That is coordinated, self-directed behavior. I did what you want. I got us together. You're going to have to meet me halfway here. A little freaking help? Finally! That is fortuitous. You're going to need to thank your friend for Rossman. If we can go now, we should, because here they come. All of us or none of us. Someday, you'll have to explain how this works. Here we go again. Rossman is willing to roll the dice. Here we go. Oh man. These illustrations are beautiful and that is the Nuketown loading screen, baby! Ooh, baby! Ah! <sighs> it's zoomed out, just like Jason said. Oh my goodness! Oh man, this makes me so happy! It's not even zoomed out like as a zoom so we can see the table, but rather it's the frames themselves, the panels themselves that have been zoomed out. That's so interesting. I'm going to have to come back to this another time and really go in depth. But oh my goodness me, the amount of confusion related to this loading screen and these images, and we finally have more at last. Oh, that makes me so happy.
That makes me so, so happy. We're going to move on for now. And hold on, there's another wrapper inside the wrapper? Huh? That's very strange. Like I said, we're going to have to look at that another time. Is that the end? That's the end? No way! No way! I was convinced there would be more! I can't believe it. Wow. There it is. That is the first Call of Duty Zombies comic. We've had the classic quote at the beginning. I've been trying so very hard to do the right thing. Oh, every time. I love that quote to pieces. We've got the inclusion of all of these characters from Transit. We've got Richtofen talking to Stulinger in his head as always. There's another cipher I've just noticed on the box there. Oh man. So exciting. So, so exciting. I can't wait to do more in-depth study of this, guys. If you'd like to see me do a full reading of it with impressions of all the characters, I think that would be hilarious. And I will get to work on that as soon as possible because just any excuse to go, Russman doesn't need this crap. All of that is just, oh man, I want to do it so badly, but I need your blessing to do it first. So let me know if you'd like to see that, guys. This has been my reading of the Call of Duty Zombies comic, issue one. Such exciting times. Plenty more analysis on the way very soon. Some ciphers no doubt will be solved. I can't wait to post some videos on them. I've been Mr. Ruffle Waffles. Thank you for watching. Subscribe so you don't miss the next episode. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.